This is Simatron E10 Quick Split Analysis Exercise. So before you start this exercise, make sure you copy this raw file into your working folder. You can right click, select Save Target as. Save it into your working folder. Okay. Okay, after that, um, we open the, your um, working folder. Yeah. So we right click, extract files, and then extract it to your working folder. Okay, and then um, we uh, cut the uh, this master CTF and uh, the layout. So we press the control button on the keyboard to select the layout, and then we right click select cut, cut it to here to part one. And this we cut to part um, two. Okay, and after that we go to file, select unpack. We unpack the layout. And then save it into your working folder. And this we change to without folder history. Okay. And we repeat it. For the master CTF. Okay, next we go to the part 2. We unpack the after parting face. Press control button on the keyboard and A to select all. Unpack. And then we unpack the last one is the catalog. Sorry, this is without folder history. Okay. Now we can uh, start our more projects. So we click this for the new uh, new more project. And the name we save it as small and we create new folder and then we save it into the working folder. And this we select the layout, select it from your working folder. Okay, and then we click OK.
Okay, after we load the layout part, now we need to load the work part. So we go here, select load work part. And then we select uh, this master.elg uh, file. And then click OK. Okay, after that, we pick this UCS and the bottom here. And then we click Edit Work UCS. Yes. And then we rotate it. Uh, press Control button on the keyboard and left click of the mouse to rotate it. Okay. Uh, press the Control button on the keyboard and middle mouse button to pan it. And Control button on the keyboard and right click to zoom in and zoom out. So we need to edit the uh, UCS. Uh, we select this and we this up, uh, click here. And the arrow we change to a long Y. After that, right uh, right mouse button, select OK and OK again. Next is about close open gaps. So we go to analysis and select open edge analysis, new open edge analysis. And then uh, this analyze by object option is select. After that, we click here. Okay, now you can see the yellow color is means uh, the open edge. So here have and here also have. Okay, after that, we select OK. To remove the yellow color, we go to analysis again, open edge, and hide or show open edge. So the yellow color is uh, hide already. Okay, and then we go to, uh, sorry, before that we need to activate the work part. Double click here or right click, select activate component, and then we go to face, select close open, edge, uh, open gaps. And then we select here, okay, and then right click, select OK. So you can see no more the gaps, but we need to confirm it. We go to analysis tools, okay, and the selection, uh, we need to use the analyze by selection option, and this is a free selection. After that, we click uh, this, and then Right click, select OK. Now you can see here is no more the yellow color, so that means uh, the gaps is closed. Okay, we go to here again, hide or show open edge, so the open edge is hide. Okay, now we want to use uh, extend face function to close the gaps. So first, what we need to do is measure the distance of the gaps. Click measuring, and then click here and here. The distance is about 0.05 mm. Okay. After that, um, we need to change these two lines to become one line. So we need to activate the master word by double click here. And then we select the composite curve. Select this line and this line. After that, right click, select OK. Okay, after that, uh, we go to X face, select extend. The tangent option we change to natural multi continuous. New face change to same face, manual direction, and the delta is 0.05. Okay, and then the we click here, and the, this is a long line. We pick this line. After that, right click, select OK. Okay, now you can see here still have the uh, gaps in between here. So we uh, enter the face, extend again, same face, manual direction, we select this, and this one is 1, okay, 
see this is a long z. After that, right click, select OK. And then we need to trim it. Face trim. Okay, uh, press middle mouse button to exit. And then select this. As face trim both. After that, select OK. Okay, and then uh, we go to face modify by sketcher. We select this. Okay, so we need to uh, trim the extra edge. So we select this. Click here. So the extra edge is trim. And then we right click exit sketcher. Okay, now we enter the modify by sketcher again. We select this face and then we need to trim here the extra edge. So select this. Okay, after that, right click, select acid sketcher. Okay, now we want to check whether still have the open edge or not. So we go to new open edge analysis again. And then we click here, click preview, so you can see no more the uh, open, gap, open gaps because uh, the yellow color not show. Okay, then you can click cancel, or the other way is uh, stitch off, so we go to face, um, solid stitch. Stitch. and then select OK ok after that we go to new analysis options and this and list by object so we click preview no the I uh, didn't have the yellow color so it means uh, it is um, if this area was properly fixed and no more the open gaps. Okay, now we go to parting, select quick split, and then the uh, we click the arrow here, select a long y, uh, sorry a long x, and then to go this to visual analysis. After that select start analysis so you can see here have a lot of manual work required to properly prepare to uh, the split set okay and then we do get it to analyze by solid and ps part and then select clear selection after that we pick this face and then we click start analysis so now you can see it here, only minor work should be done to complete the slider set. And we also can uh, use the manual define phase by click the second optional. So this is the manually to define plate uh, phase. So, uh, we go into here and then we click apply.